Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you a new powerful feature of DaVinci Resolve 16, the adjustment clip. Let's get started. Imagine the following situation. You plan to add a letterbox to your clips and color grade them as well. Furthermore, you want to use the same effect for each clip, but with a slightly different behavior. Before you probably proceed as follows. You select the first clip you want to adjust and then go to the inspector. There you adjust the settings, in this case you change the crop properties. Next you would probably select the second clip and also change the crop properties in the inspector. Another approach would be to copy the properties and then paste them into the third clip. These steps take a lot of time. In DaVinci Resolve 16 a new effect has been introduced called the adjustment clip. Before I show you this effect I undo all changes. On the left hand side my effects library is already open. In the effects panel I now move the adjustment clip as a new layer onto my timeline. Now I extend the clip. Then I select the clip and adjust the crop properties. As you can see, this effect is applied to the entire layer below. And this is really cool. Let's animate the letterbox a bit. I set the crop properties to zero. Then I add two keyframes. Now go to the frame where the letterbox should be completely visible. Then I change the crop properties to 139. Now we have our first animation. At the end of the third clip we will fade out the letterbox again. As you may have seen, the adjustment clip has saved us a lot of time. There is a lot more we can do. Let's make sure each clip gets the same color setting. I'm adding a new serial node and change the lift value. Next I add the light rays effect. And here I adjust the position of the light rays. I'm going to make some adjustments to the appearance. That's it. And here you can see that all settings have been applied to all clips. Next we will animate the light rays a little bit. We make sure that the adjustment clip is selected. And we go to the first frame. Here I'm changing the blend property so that the light rays are not visible and then I add a keyframe. I also add keyframes for the position. I now go to the frame in which the light rays should appear. Then I adjust the blend property so that the light rays are visible again. In addition I'm changing the position. Now I'll go to the frame where the second clip starts. Also here I add keyframes and change the individual properties. Now that I have made all the settings, let's have a look at the result. The light rays are not perfect because they shine through the black bars, but I hope I have been able to show you how powerful the new adjustment clip is and how much time we can save. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you want to see more, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.